Erica, good afternoon. How's it going? Erica, how's the uh, Mayhem Athlete Challenge going so far? It is windy here today. <laughs> Trying to find ways to uh, combat the wind. Oh, we're just going to have to do our best. Willie, good afternoon. Willie, are you doing the challenge too? Willie, you don't even have to do the challenge because you just do it every day anyway. <laughs> you and Erica win the challenge. Stefan, how's it going? Stefan, the gym looks so clean. It looks so good. <laughs> Erica, too, your champ, for sure. I'm out of luck with the, uh, the wind here, gang. How was this uh, workout? Can you hear it, Erica? Is it really loud? I was gonna go live earlier, but it was even windier, so here we are. I don't know if this one stand is gonna take it. We're trying, we're making, gonna make it work. Stefan, where do you get your stall mats from? I actually need a new one. I moved one outside, so now I have one in, in and out. Oh, Willie. Although I do consider that an undertaking. <laughs> Stefan, you keep it so clean. working at the moment. Okay, perfect. What did you guys think of this one today? I looked at uh, some of the times and it actually looks like it goes by really quickly. Yeah, I know, Stefan, I just imagine you in like some kind of like hazmat style suit with some kind of spray wash machines cleaning that thing because your gym like sparkles <laughs> i feel like i open a bag of chalk and it's like poof <laughs> dinosaur but happy that's a good way to start the year that's where i got mine originally too Stefan tractor supply Oh, that's funny you say that, Stefan, because mine are definitely the uh, the textured ones from Tractor Supply. I like them, too. Just because, you know, inevitably there's going to be sweat. Especially if you're in Florida. Good grief. <laughs> Erica, 343 on the first round, 338 on the second. Nice. Willie, really quick. Did you, uh, Willie, what was lunchtime fitness for you today? <laughs> oh, you started recruiting friends to your house cleaning. I dig that, Stefan. If you were in Florida, I'd be like, so, about that. <laughs> I need that to rub off on me. All right, well, let's get into our prehab warm-up, and then we will get rocking and rolling. Oh, concrete sweats. I did not know. I don't even know what that means, Stefan. But I'm learning new things every second. Diana, 
Oh, you did this workout too? How long did it take you? Oh, here goes little bear. There's some poodles across the way. Oh, yep, she's greeting them. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our prehab warm up today. So you guys know, longevity, prehab, we're all about it in 2023. We started it in 2022, to be fair. 60 totes? Oh my Lanta, Stefan. That is a lot. Little Bear, come here, bud. Little Bear, come here, buddy. So, we have some fun prehab on the agenda today. Little Bear, come here, bud. There are no lizards, but I tricked you. Come here, buddy. Really, Stefan? I had no idea. That's so interesting. Who knew? He says floor sweat. I did not know. All right, so for our prehab warm up today, this is our way of saying injury free gang or fixing aches and pains. I will never get over saying that. <laughs> ah, practical fitness. That's that makes sense, Stefan. The other thing about stall mats is they are heavy. I didn't realize how heavy they were. So. For prehab today, we have 10 Palov press with a band if you have a band. Then we're going to do 10 side plank band pulls, which I love. It's a little bit of core uh, and balance and stability, and we're getting a little bit extra strength from the band pulls. 30 second inclined pigeon, which is from our ATG knees over toes guy, and 8 ATG split squat. And then we are going to get into the Mayhem Athlete 30 workout today uh, if you need awesome daily programming that's what we're following a lot of the time and it's mayhemathlete.com as you guys well know you guys are quite well acquainted they're actually doing a, a challenge remind me what the challenge entails is it 30 days of fitness and posting and I think they're giving away like ten thousand dollars or something it's something unbelievable All right, crew. Let's get into the uh, max vitamin D. Haha. <laughs> Hello, Larry. Little Bear says hi. Really? Well, Stefan, of course you do. I drag mine. <laughs> oh, and then I have like those littler ones for here. Mr. Thruster. D I know. I love hearing uh, his stories. Danny, how have you been? What's on your New Year's agenda? Oh, gotcha, Erica. That makes sense. The usuals, right? <laughs> oh, Stefan, I can tell you they're not. I don't think, to my not. Well, then again, maybe they didn't tell me. Who knows? <laughs> All right, so let's start our, Willie, get me started. We're going to start with our longevity warm-up. That's what I call them. Denny, is your kitchen finally completely done? I feel like I knew like it's, this was months ago that you got to start using it again. But are we all good with the remodel? Yeah, are you uh, office work, Danny, or are you back still some home, some office? All right, so again, we're gonna start three times through. 10 pal off press, 10 side plank band pulls, 30 second incline pigeon on each side, and then we are going to get into eight ATG squats. So we are getting that core ready. Thank you, Willie. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> that core ready today, our shoulders, and we're gonna keep the trend going, knees and ankles with the ATG split squats, and then we're gonna get into this. They said it was basically just 240, two, not 40, oh my goodness, two four minute workouts. Diana, you already did this too. Everyone already did this. Do you guys need a sweat session today? Good grief. <laughs> Everyone's gotten so much fitness done, but I'm later today. Oh, nice, Erica. See, Stefan, maybe you'll win something on the daily uh, giveaway piece of it. All right, guys, so I got my biker out so I could attach a band to it. You could attach a band to a palm tree, a bench, lots of things. Dumbbell. Uh, either half kneeling guys, meaning half kneeling, <laughs> or
or standing when you have kneeling version. That's what this would look like. It's also just all of these on the ground for stability. I'm going to do it this way just because of the height of my biker. So you're going to walk out the band tension and the band is going to be pulling you back towards the bike and your goal is to keep it in that straight line, that straight path. So if there was a, oh my gosh, a dolphin just jumped out of the water. Like, wow, that was awesome. <laughs> so your idea is to keep that band straight as it's gonna be pulling you towards that. So we're gonna do 10 on the right and 10 on the left. And keep rocking and rolling, <laughs> 10K. <laughs> you can keep the rest. What about the 10K, Stefan, right? Who won the first few days, I wonder? Not after taxes. Oh, my gosh. 5K buys. <laughs> well, I guess I like that you guys have it all planned out. Someone has to win it. So, I mean, it might as well be you guys, right? Diane, are you doing your prehab today? What is the last one? Maria, how's it going? I'd be interested to know, Erica. Maria, what'd you do for fitness today? Did you do the M30? <laughs> I mean, if you guys are requesting sweat session, we can always do that too. Whatever you guys need. I'm here for it, you know. Oh, it's a point system. For the whole year, Willie? or month. Wow. All right, guys, so after those 10 pal off presses on each side, I'm gonna take that band again. I'm gonna actually lower it and put it on the uh, back of the biker for this one. So you're going to come to that side plank on that elbow. Just make sure you're stacking that elbow, that shoulder over that elbow. You guys, the dolphins are going crazy today. Oh my goodness. If I can spin this thing around. Fishing. They could go by quick though. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> right, Diana? So, oh, the month of uh, January. Yay, Aria, are you going to do this? They said it's a quick one today. Yeehaw. We're starting with a prehab. So now we're on to our, we did our 10 pal of presses on each side. We are going to do our side like band pulls. I really like these because it's mixing that core and that shoulder strengthening. So for this one, Move this for a second. The tribe crushed it last year. Oh, I know. I did put in a good word for you guys, not gonna lie. Because you guys are amazing. Fair question, Stefan. But it's a point system, right? All right, guys, so again, you're gonna touch that band. If you don't have a band, you can just do 30 second side plank. So, you want to get far enough out that it, the band has your arm extended, then I'm going to drop myself up in that side plank, and then I'm going to be pulling that band to my hip and really engaging that lat. So, up, oh, shoulder over that elbow, pulling that band to my hip. We got 10 of those.
bench, you can just do the standard yoga pigeon, so you'll just come to that plank position, and you'll bring that knee up, and you'll just sink down into your hips. Just recognize the more perpendicular you have this front shin to the ground, the deeper stretch you're going to get. I have super tight hips, as you guys well know, so that's why I have that heel further back. <laughs> I read the rules that says nothing about that. Diana. <laughs> Erica, nice analogy. Erica says, uh, Rich was eligible to win the CrossFit Games numerous years in a row, so why wouldn't I be? <laughs> touche, Stefan, touche. It is interesting, Stefan. Erica, going all the points. Let's go, girl. <laughs> this is a, uh, this four font rules, Aria. Oh. It's like you guys have played a lot of contests before. <laughs> oh, I love that you went and found the details, Erica. Heck yes. All right, crew. So the uh, incline pigeon is, is quickly becoming one of my favorites. So again, 30 seconds. You can do it on the ground or on a bench if you have one. So if you have the incline bench, I'm gonna be, same idea, that shin's gonna be straight, that foot's gonna be on that bottom pad, and I'm walking this back leg out, and then it just really allows you to sink into those hips. If you feel comfortable, you can keep that chest nice up and, up and tall. If you need to hold on, you can hold on. Just depends on how tight your hips are. So we'll have 30 seconds here. We'll switch sides, and we're gonna do our eight ATG squats on each side. Keep it rolling. And then we'll get through this workout quick, gang. Quick as in making it a good workout. <laughs> Lily Bay and a crew, are you guys missing these sweat sessions? Because I can, like I said, be alternating them too. It's just for whatever you guys need in this new year. You tell me. <laughs> All right, so in 30 seconds, we're gonna switch sides. Do left leg now. Stephanie, what are you following these days? Are you still doing M60? Valerie, I saw your workout this morning. Awesome job. I'm very proud. <laughs> Erica has my vote for two-time champ. Uh, Stefan, well, you can't put it out there like that. You have to decide you're the luckiest person in the world. Let's all decide that Stefan is lucky so he can win something. You just decide you're lucky. Or, you know, um, what's a Disney movie? Mulan. Mulan. <laughs> Doesn't he have like a luck cricket or something? Do we need to get you a cricket, Stefan? <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna switch legs here. Walk that leg back, I want that back leg nice and straight. And sink into those hips, we're gonna do 30 seconds on this side. And then next is our ATG squat. Diane, our new thing is don't skip your prehab longevity warm up. We need a fun name for this warm up crew the stay fit forever and not hurt anymore warm-ups. I feel like they have so many options for names. All right, so 30 seconds there. Now we're going into that ATG split squat. Uh, I've been working on these for a little while, guys, so if it hurts at all or you don't have the range of motion to go all the way down at the bottom, think about grabbing a plate or having that foot elevated on something as you go into the squat. So. That'll make it easier to get down into that position. Trying to get that knee over that those front toes. So that's why this makes it easier if going all the way down to the ground. Because you're just trying to achieve this in your ankle, your hips, that knee over the toe. So this is what it's gonna look like on the ground next. Eight. <laughs> but elevate that front foot if that range of motion is too much. <laughs> Danny, I like that. It is. 
We're gonna have to get Stefan a luck cricket. <laughs> Heck yeah, Erica. And it worked. Thank you, Willie. 2023 goal. Do more prehab. That, see, Willie knows the secret to my heart. We must all do our prehab. <laughs> you just like the Polar Express, Danny. Stefan's over here huffing and puffing. All right, guys, so. No, I feel like I have to be so far from you on this for you. Oh, you can find have seat here. Okay, gang, so. We're gonna start with that right foot forward. I'm gonna have my heel elevated in the back. And I'm gonna bring that knee forward over that toe. Goal is to get that hamstring back. job guys oh you did oh my gosh Willie and the guy who owns that company is amazing like it was basically I, he has a really really long story about how and why he did it but it's like a really cool faith story <laughs> really Erica oh I know coach Bear is Nine. I was thinking 10. Okay, so back to our Palov presses. We'll zoom through the rest of these, but just making sure to get it done. Well, you're going to love the MG12. I put it on everything. It is amazing. <laughs> Erica's going after it. Maybe it's a luck dragon. Is it a luck dragon? Is that what it is? Must have to watch Mulan again. <laughs> oh. Aria, how's the new year been for you? Willie, which uh, MG12 did you order? All right, how I'll press in. Ten on each side. Then we'll do our, our uh, core. Core band pulls. And keep rocking and rolling. I know our prehab's like ten times longer than the workout, but it's what we need, gang. All right, so again, you're going to walk that band out. Side plank rows. Oh no, Aria. How's the weather there? <laughs> Valerie, right? Valerie, what'd you think of the workout this morning? You crushed it. I love the video. I know, Aria, I feel like it's going around for sure.
30 second half kneeling pigeon and you can do it on like i said bench or the ground your choice heck yes really for sure it's really good before you sleep too so it takes away the, all the aches and pains also the magnesium helps you sleep oh yay <laughs> Bally, that's awesome <laughs> diana says the best uh thing you can win from the the uh the mayhem athlete event is apex abs <laughs> she says erica go for apex abs <laughs> i mean it's a lot of uh what are the uh easiest and the hardest ways to accrue the points <laughs> in this group. <laughs> um, I dig it. All right, guys, so bring that shin up to that pad or the ground because you can do this on the ground as well. You don't have to use it on a bench. We're going to hold here for 30 seconds. Really, really sink into that game. I'm proud of you guys for doing this, just so you know. <laughs> job guys. So after our 30 seconds here we're going to switch. What was the hardest part of the uh, the workout today guys? Should we do more rounds? <laughs> oh nice Willie there we go. Willie you're so ahead of the curve. <laughs> The bottom ones, what do you mean, Erica? All right, guys, so we're gonna switch legs. Remember, try to keep that back leg nice and straight. Really, really sink into this, and we're gonna do our eight squats on the other side. each leg and then we're gonna get rocking and rolling ah gotcha the bottom ones <laughs> erica says the bottom abs <laughs> willie says the hardest part was the front squats i bet that how was the heart rate on this one bro all right guys so have that back heel elevated and i'm going initiate by driving It always cracks me up which was ooh <laughs> and belly not <knot> jelly. <laughs> Erica, I just saw that that's funny. The jelly button. <laughs> Willie says same problem as Erica. Five pack with <laughs> with one big one at the bottom. Willie. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Danny, it's so funny you say that. I just saw that. I had to click on it. I had to look it up. I was it, massively intrigued by that. Is there a trial week, Danny? I'd love to hear your insights on um, 
they should mayhem should definitely do that by the way but i'd love to hear your insights on what movements they say and what they address because that'd be really cool because i've heard so many different things from golfers about fitness that tiger kind of brought fitness back in but um there were a lot of golfers that would ever always be reluctant to any sort of crossfit style stuff because they didn't want the overdevelopment of the shoulder because i guess you know club head speed is so important <laughs> Gary could leave that, Stefan. Yeah, definitely send me feedback, Danny, if you do, if there was like a trial or something. But I definitely will uh, mention that to Mayhem. They should totally do that. I'm certain that they have, uh, you know, the resources and the people, the golf coaches out there. That would be, oh my gosh, I would love to see that. Just like a fascinating thought too, right, Danny? I just, I'm a fitness nerd, so I love to hear how all, all sports train. <laughs> no it doesn't no way oh that's so funny <laughs> oh the old homer simpson crop top willie oh goodness <laughs> steph and gary could for real be the uh the coach of bowling maybe he can coach mayhem bowling <laughs> all right guys let's talk about the workout today so we have most of the crew here has done it today. I'm proud of you guys. Awesome job getting your prehab done. We did two rounds of that today, by the way, guys. This is a little bit longer one, so we'll go two rounds today for that since we're just, just getting started with it. So let's talk about the Bodyweight Mayhem Athlete 30 workout for today. We have both minimal and body weights. Uh, our two sets. And for body weight, we have 30 air squats, 90 line hops or jumping jacks, and 30 towel rows, or 30 banded bent over rows, or 15 strict pull-ups, and then you're gonna rest two minutes in between sets. So I love that uh, Kelsey's adding in banded work. I saw that, I'm pretty pumped about that. So, crew your air squats. Which I know you guys are probably well acquainted with. Need my bench for now. We have Coach Bear back here. So for your air squat, you're just gonna think, push those hips back. Initiate with those hips, trying to get below parallel if you can, and try to keep that chest nice and tall. That'll be your air squat. Then you will have your line hop. So you can have your imaginary line on the ground. Or you can actually draw one and it'll be a lateral hop back and forth. Or you can go old school playground jumping jacks. Don't underestimate jumping jack either. More challenging than you think. So you'll go from 30 air squats to 90 line hops or jumping jacks. And then you'll have 30 towel rows. A towel row is just basically if you have a polar post in your house, you can swing a towel around. You just lean that body back. Make sure it's something sturdy and you just are pulling it. you're doing to your hip so you're engaging that bigger muscle group in your lats as opposed to you see a lot of people sometimes bringing it up higher up which is different working a different muscle group and if that's the target that's the target but sometimes that can be a little pinchy on people's shoulders so that's why I generally work towards the lat engagement side of it <laughs> oh that's so correct me really so you will have your towel row bent row option you also have a strict pull-up option. So, you will go through that one time, rest two minutes, and repeat. Interesting day. What do other, um, have you ever seen any other golf programs? I'm interested to see, like, again, like, what style of movements. I'm sure there's something on the internet for golf tutorials, future golfers, all sorts of things like that. So, let's talk about, real quick... We have our minimal equipment version, Mayhem Athlete 30 minimal equipment. Very similar to the body weight style. We have 30 dumbbell front squats. This crew, like I said, already did it. Most of you crushed it. 
Aria might be working out along with. So, you will grab your dumbbell. It's double and front squat. Bazinga. <laughs> dumbbells up into that front rack. Think about keeping that chest nice and tall, driving those knees out, getting below parallel, and you will have 30 double dumbbell front squats. Then you will go into 90 double unders or single unders or line hops. Oh, have a great day, Danny. Thank you for taking the time to come by. <laughs> Bazinga, I know, cooking crazy. Just have to throw that one back in. <laughs> I haven't seen that show in so long. <laughs> All right, so then we are going to move into our double unders. Or single unders or line hops. You guys, thanks for hanging in through this win. You guys are amazing. Then we're gonna move into 15 strict pull-ups or your bent over rows. So again, crew. Flexibility, agility, yeah, that's really cool, Diddy. <laughs> Alright guys, so again, this is going to be two sets and you're going to get two minutes rest between sets. Let's get old Sherpy here going. We'll get this party started. Erica, what'd you say your time was? Willie, Valerie, crew? Cooking crazy, what's on the, uh, the menu tonight? What do we have going on? I, have, I finally got the uh, the top of my crown today, gang, so they told me not to eat for a little bit, but I think I'm past my window. <laughs> not for too long, good grief. All right, guys, also if strict pull-ups are too much, but you want to do a pull-up variation, you can also do that. You can do banded pull-ups and that sort of thing. Ooh, meatballs, yum. Do you have a good meatball recipe? I'm a big fan of, of turkey meatballs, cooking crazy too. I was going to say, crazy enough. Erica did 180 single unders instead of 90 doubles. The double the number nowadays, huh, Erica? Is that, was that your choice or did the, uh, was that the workout notes? It used to just be uh, one and a half. Valerie, heck yeah. She said she only has 25 pound dumbbells, but honestly for the double dumbbell front squat in the row, I feel like that's a more accurate weight target, in my opinion. Girl, you were blazing. Valerie did it in 249 and 229. Holy mackerel. Blazing. Diana went 505, 545. You guys are all so fast. <laughs> Erica. Ah, gotcha. So notes today say double your double under, or your single unders. It's getting fit in the new year, gang. You know, must get after it. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I've had a bunch of good stuff. Uh, we did like a fondue yesterday, so we did like bacon wrap shrimp and stuff, which was really good. Uh, we did some gluten-free breading on onions, mushrooms, all sorts of stuff. That was really good. Only do that once a year, and it is, you know, you can deep fry anything, and it tastes good. <laughs> Cooking crazy, right? Oh. 
You guys crushed this workout. I'm so proud. Willie, 532 total. Good grief. All right, I'm going to put my liquid chalk on and we're going to get this party started. I'm super thankful for you guys. Thanks for taking the time to hang out today. For the support here, you know? Even on this windy day. Oh! I threw my clock. Whoopsies. We got this gang. All right, rock and roll time. Oh, I need my liquid chalk. Key. And remember, 90. We have two sets, 30 front squats, 90 double unders, or double the number if you're doing single unders to 180, 30 bent rows, or 15 strict pull-ups. So I'm gone. 30, 90, 15. And we're going to rescue and repeat. today. <laughs> Sorry, I was liquid chalk hunting. I'm out. I gotta. I need to get some more again. All right, crew. Rock and roll time. Let's do this. Meatball sound good. Cooking crazy. I feel like you have to have like really good meatball recipes. I have an Italian friend who would like age the breadcrumbs. Oh my gosh. I've never had a meatball that tasted like that again in my life. <laughs> All right, gang. Again, we have 30. 90, 30, or 15. Let's do this. Again, we have the wind singing to us today. <laughs> Alas. All right, Aria, hopefully you're in here somewhere doing this. <laughs> you're changing your battery. Diana, Diana, you're amazing. Girl, you can handle some volume, too. I'm still thinking about a devil's press workout from the other day. All right, guys. Here we go. Two little sprints for us today. Let's do this. Ten seconds. Starting with our 30 front squats. Except to let me know you broke these up. In three, two, one. Job crew. Well, you're not kidding. I definitely vote front squats also. <laughs> I'm projecting that. <laughs> 90 double unders or 180 single under here, guys. We got it. Thank you. 
12 it looks like. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Mallory, heck yes. <laughs> Great job, guys. Yeah, Willie, I bet you smashed those gloves. You guys all smashed this workout. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys don't even need New Year's resolutions. You guys just get it done. It's truly, it's so inspiring. I'm very, very proud of you, tribe. Two minute rest. So, the deceptive nature of this workout is the, the holding the time under tension from the dumbbell into the shoulders of the uh, double under. I know it's counterintuitive, but think calm, calm, relaxed thoughts on those double unders because those shoulders will feel taxed from holding those dumbbells under tension. And the jerk pull ups after that. Oof! This is a great one. This is sneaky. Bent rows would be great too, Erica. It's just all, it's all sneaky shoulders. You look at it and you're like, that's not shoulders, but it is definitely shoulders. Shoulders with some high heart rate. You gotta love that. So I'm going again here at 612. Go time. Well, Willie, when I started, I was like, whoa, these front squats definitely more challenging than I expected. And I'm like, whoa, get the heart rate up with the uh, the double unders. Nice, Willie, with the 50s, heck yeah. It's all that bodybuilding you're doing, you know? It's such a great supplement, or vice versa. <laughs> Valerie, you crushed it. All of these variations are good, crew. That's what we're here for, all the options. All right, guys, I'm going to start here in... Three, two, one, starting our round number two here. Two quick sprints today, guys. 30 front squats. job guys crush the game And 30 crew. We got this. Shake it out and raise those double unders. Nicely done, guys. That's it. Woo. Keep it going, gang. 90 double unders or 180 single unders. Got it, guys. Almost there. Great job, crew.
body screw. At seven, almost there. Eight to go. Great job, gang. done. That was around 10, 57 or 58. Oh, Diane, I hope Grumpy has a great doctor's appointment. Thanks for making time for us. Valerie, thank you, Diana, thank you. Diana, give him a hug for us. <laughs> Ciao. Great job, guys. So that was, uh, like I said, definitely a sneaky a sneaky workout on the surface for like two quick sprints, but definitely the uh, time under tension on the front squats. We'll get the heart rate up a little bit, straight into the double unders and the pull-ups or the rows. Same idea. So you guys did amazing. Your times were all so great. Awesome job. And guys, thanks for getting your prehab here longevity warm up in. I'm very proud of you. All right, guys. Well, we're back at it in the new year. I'm super, super thankful that I get to do this along with you guys. And thank you guys for coming and being supportive every day of each other and all of us. You guys are amazing. All right, guys. Another uh, New Year's week workout in the books. Diana, Erica, Valerie all getting it done today. Willie getting it done today. I'm so pumped. Stefan getting the, uh, <laughs> the gym done today. And Larry too. Larry, thanks for continuing to show up and cooking crazy, always. Oh my gosh. You guys are amazing. We had Danny in the house for a little while too. It was nice for him to stop by. All right, team. Well, as always, super, super thankful for you guys. Like I said, another New Year's workout in the books. Larry, you have a great day too. I hope you guys have the best day and we will be back barring the wind in the morning. <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you tomorrow.